OK, 10.1.3. Well, the empirical formula, that shows the simplest ratio between atoms, and you should probably say in a molecule. And the molecular formula, well, that shows the actual number of atoms in a molecule. All right, then. For the structural formula, well, there's a couple of ways you can look at that. First of all, the definition is it must unambiguously show how the atoms are arranged in the molecule. So let's choose butane as an example. So I've unambiguously shown how butane has its atoms arranged. For the condensed structural formula, which is a way of writing it out that you can use a word processor for, that's an example there. And you can even condense it even more, but it's still called the condensed structural formula. It must be unambiguous, or it won't count. Skeletal formula are also mentioned. Now, the IB may use it, but they would never ask you to use it. That's what they claim. And so every corner and the end of the line represents a carbon. So this is butane. Cyclohexene, well, that would be a hexagon, and the double bond is represented like that. Three lines would be a triple bond. All right, so looking at this molecule here, the longest is six in a row, so that's something, something hexane. So it's 3-ethyl, 2-methyl hexane. Don't forget, it's alphabetical, so the E comes before the M. Okay, so ethane is C2H6, and if I give the simplest ratio, that's CH3. And it's just a simple diagonal line. If I was to do the skeletal, oh, that was the wrong place. So both of those structural formula are unambiguous. And there's a line with two ends, so that's ethane. Cyclopropane. Now with the structure, I have to unambiguously show how those three carbons and six hydrogens are arranged. And so there we go. There's two ways to do that. And the skeletal structure, well, you can see why we choose to do it. In the questions, it's really easy to draw. This one, I have to draw out the structure first before I can answer the other questions. Because it's a bit tricky. All right, I think I got it. Common mistake is to forget the chlorines. Just leave bars, little lines, but forget the chlorines. Let's count out the hydrogens. There's eight of those and two chlorines. OK, so the empirical formula, the simplest ratio, is C4, sorry, C2H4Cl. Now, if you're doing SL, you don't need to know about the cis, so you could ignore the cis here. CNH2N is the uh, generic formula for alkenes. So using that, I can work out the other answers. The one other thing that's specifically mentioned in the syllabus is that uh, a hexagon like this with a circle in it is the benzene ring.